me again. I'm back with another cooking video. This is what I do a lot, pretty much every day. So anyway, um, we have a beautiful fall slash Moroccan style uh, dish today. Um, All right, guys, now we're back. We got our ingredients set up here. We have one Instapot. Um, if you don't have one, this can totally work perfectly and beautifully in a regular crock pot. I'm using my Instapot instead of my crock pot, though I prefer the crock pot, to be honest. Is because I don't have a lot of time. I am getting this prepared, waiting for my husband and son to come home from his martial arts. So while they're doing that, I'm doing this. So we have kale and sapot. I have two things of chicken broth. I'm not sure I'll use all of it. It all depends. We have, if you can see here, allspice, cumin, paprika, thyme, cinnamon, pink salt, whole garlic cloves, Ginger, uh, fresh ginger is best, but my store was out of it, so I have to use the ground. Red pepper flakes, fresh lemon, yes, it's getting squeezed into there, and your basic salt and pepper as well. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to combine all of these ingredients into the Instapot and get it going while our other veggies are roasting. And so while they're roasting... I'm also going to take out of the fridge some pre-grilled chicken. I had put them in the oven last night because we had leftover uh, chicken from the meat that we gathered for our dinner last night. And I put the rest of it in there so it wouldn't go to waste. And I put it much, pretty much just put it in the oven with some olive oil and some basic seasoning, like um, an all-purpose seasoning. And I'm going to use that. And we're going to cut that up and put this in our soup also with all these yummy ingredients. So, be back in just a minute, grab my chicken, and get that cut up, and we will see you then. All right, here we go. Here's the chicken. So you can see I have beautiful, lovely seasoned chicken that I put in the oven from last night. Again, this was just leftovers from another meal. We had a big pack of chicken breasts, and we used only really half of it. So I took the other half, because it's already thawed, and I made sure I cooked it so it wouldn't go bad. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to chop it down into small pieces, starting with strips. Okay, move those to the side. I'll tell you what, I wish you guys were in this kitchen with me because that squash smells yummy. All right, now you see now I'm just cubing it down into smaller pieces. All right, we're going to add that to the instant pot. I'm going to take this out right now because we're not heating it up right now. Um, so, yeah, put that in there. Small cubes, like I said. I want to make sure it's nice and small because, you know, soup is great chunky. Um, I don't really do pureed soups, even though I don't have anything against them. I just don't have a really good blender. I don't have an emulsion blender, which is also the best that you can do with a vegetable soup. Um, so I like chunky soups, but I want them to be comfortable enough to eat. So you want to make sure your pieces are small enough to fit on the spoon along with your veggies as you're indulging in the soup. Now, no seasonings here are against anything on the Moroccan menu. They what's in there is an all-purpose, like I said, which has basically basil, thyme, oregano, um, a little salt and pepper, and some olive oil on it. And I was very generous with the seasoning because I love the flavor. And so that's why there's so much of it, as you can see, on there. All right, we're going to cut our lemon in half, and we're going to squeeze it into our bowl here. You don't need a ton of it. Just squeeze as much as you can get out of it. I'll probably save that for my compost pile. Don't forget to do that. Here's the red pepper. But I'm going to wait until the end on that one. I'm just trying to get it ready because it's a brand new thing. Um, but we're going to wait for this to the end because really the spice level depends on your tolerance. So we'll put that at the end. Go ahead with our ginger. Just be a little light on the ginger. Again, it's something that you can, can continue to add 
uh, more of as you go along. I'm all about to taste. That's one thing you'll notice when you follow my recipes or you listen to what I have. I'll give you a basic recipe of stuff um, or a fly by the seat of the pants kind of recipe because I like a lot of flavor. I don't like bland food. So, and I'm also good with spicy. So, I'll give you the basic recipe in the uh, descriptions below. However, really do everything to taste because I've found that a lot of uh, recipes that I try or that's even been handed down to me from my family, uh, growing up, you know, you taste them and you're like, oh, that was such a great dish. I remember that in my childhood, but it can all use a little bit of tweaking. You know what I'm saying? Because I like a lot of flavor, like I said, so I adjust everything. So anyway, here goes in the thyme. Just a nice little sprinkle of thyme over the chicken. Because remember, the chicken has thyme on it already. A little bit of the cinnamon. I hope you can see. I'm just doing everything pretty light to start with. Because we have plenty of thyme to put more in there. Now we're going to go with our cumin. And this one, you're going to be a little bit more generous about. One, two... Three, four, five, six. Six good shakes of that. Light, by the way, light on the paprika because we have two different types of peppers going in here. So just do one, two, three. That's it. Really, really, really light dashes. And then in goes the allspice. Again, light. Allspice is very, very, very powerful. So one, two, three. All right. A little bit of our pink salt. You'll see I use a lot of pink salt in my recipes if I have it because I love it. It has a really, really great flavor to it. Now we're going to go into our garlic cloves. I beat those down to take the skin off. Okay. It's just a much easier and faster way of doing it. That's all. You don't have to do it that way. You can do it any way you feel like it. Okay. I'm going to just beat it in. Try to get those other skins off. All right. Let's see how that goes. All right. Now we're going to put whole ones of these right up in here. The garlic flavor needs to be strong. If you don't like garlic, take it out. That's always, 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 I encourage you to tweak a recipe based on the things that you like. Um, and you can actually, when you take something out of a recipe, think of a flavor you do love that complements what you're going on with your recipe and add that in instead. If you got it, use it. As long as it's complimentary, you will taste the flavor of a dish if you put something in it that you that it just doesn't belong with that flavor profile. So keep that in mind. Now, when it comes to things in Morocco, Middle East, and stuff like that, I don't know a ton about it, but I watch a lot of cooking shows. And spices are a big, huge deal. I'm sure most of you probably already know this. It's not like it's new news. But combining a spicy ingredient and a savy and a sweet ingredient is not uncommon because their food is full of heavy spices. That includes sweet and peppery and spicy and some that are just plain, you know, basic and savory, the everyday use stuff. So keep that in mind when you're putting this in. So we're going to finish up this and then I'm going to add both of these broths, or I'll probably just start with one of the broth. See how much that fills it up. I'll wait till everything gets in together. And then, of course, add my stuff that's roasting in the oven. And if I need more, then I'll add more because I also want to include the kale for a vegetable. So bear with me. We'll come back here in a minute. See you in a minute. Okay, we're back. Now, as you can see here... These red onions look delicious. They smell awesome. Also, our squash are finished. Here is what we have so far with the ingredients I described earlier. Now, we will definitely be using two. 
of these large broth. I wanted to make sure that I clarified that because I said before, I tweak recipes, so the initial one only asks for a certain amount, but I want more soup, and I love flavor, and we have also extra vegetables in this particular recipe that I want to do. So, two of these big guys. Two. Again, I'll put more description in the below description about exact brand or name or ounces and all that stuff later. But just right now for demo sake, here you see. These are delicious. So delicious. I'm gonna take any leftover skins because there was it was it was a rough chop to begin with. Yeah. And when I put flavors on stuff, sometimes with the onions if you roast them, and this is a matter of opinion of course, doesn't mean everyone agrees. Yeah. But um they tend to take a little bit better of the roast when you leave the skin on. Then you can just take the skin off. And it's so easy to take the skin off, so it's like not even a bother. All right. So, yeah. Just taking any remaining skin off right now. And then these are going to go inside our Instapot with the rest of the stuff that we already have in there. Let's see. All right. I have a choke. All right. Yeah, just a little bit of skin left on there. Nothing that's a big deal. All righty. That's it. All right. The rest of these can go inside. They're ready to go. Oh, my gosh. I wish I could. you guys could smell this stuff. It smells so good. All right. Now we're going to grab our squash, and I'll show chopping that. Look at that. Look how pretty that looks. Again, this is with just olive oil and brown sugar spread. So we're going to cut it in half here just to make it a little easier. Cut it again and again. And then we will spoon it out. It's super hot right now, so I'm going to use my oven mitt to do this. Oh, guys. And we're just basically cutting out the guts of this. Okay. As best we can off the skin. You could probably do a better way of, of a better way of not wasting as much as I am right at the moment, just because I I want chunks, but I don't want big chunks. So I'm gonna get this going right here. Get as much of it off the skin as I possibly can and put it to the side, and then I'll be chopping it. Okay, now we're back with the finishing touches, just yeah. so you can see this delicious gorgeousness. Okay. Got our squash in there, got all of our ingredients in there. I put the other one of these in there. So there's two whole of these in there. Um, and I also added, or adding, excuse me, the pepper flakes. By the way, you want to do this very light. That's it, literally. If you want a measurement of it, again, I'll put that down in the description when I get more into detail. But I also wanted to add a little bit more ginger. Three more taps of that, I put in Two more taps of the paprika. I also put in three more taps of cumin. A couple more of the cinnamon, because again, with more liquid, you want more seasoning because the liquid will drown out the flavor. I'm gonna put in some more of this pink salt. We're gonna finally add our regular salt and pepper, just nothing fancy, okay. A little bit more of this lemon juice. That's why we didn't use it all the first time. I left just a little bit in the skin to make sure because I didn't know how much liquid I was going to be using. All right. And just a dab of the allspice. Just a dab. Nothing more than that. Okay. So this is ready for the Instapot. Let's go ahead and put that in here. I'm going to go ahead and get a spoon. Any spoon will do. It's not a big deal. I just want to like get stuff kind of like mixed up really good. Make sure everything's definitely covered with the liquid with all the seasonings. So that it will cook as evenly as possible in here. That's 
good enough. Let's get our pot pot on. Make sure our steamer is closed. Let me turn this around for you. Now, my Instapot has a soup and broth selection. So we're going to press that. That says 30 minutes. Because most of this is cooked besides the um, finishing touches on the squash and, of course, the kale, I'm just going to leave it on that setting and let it go. We'll check it. Once All right, guys. Here is the final of the soup. Look at that yummy deliciousness. I topped it off with parsley. Yep, fresh from my garden because I have an herb garden. 